She's accused of killing her newborn baby boy, but now Angelica Swartout's lawyers say she was never pregnant to begin with. Good evening, I'm Brandi Smith. And I'm Rick Douglas. KZI 9 News reporter Jeff Skrypek is live in the studio with our top story at 6. Jeff? Well, Rick and Brandy, in a motion filed today by Swartown's defense team, lawyers claim she lied about her pregnancy in order to win her family's attention and love, and then police never took the time to fully investigate the location of the alleged birth for evidence. In a case like this, you would expect there to be, there would have to be some physical evidence, and they never looked for it. According to Swartout's lawyer, Gordon Mallon, if his client did in fact give birth inside the restroom at her workplace of Crossland Studios, there would be traces of blood. Mallon says his forensic scientist didn't find any. If the state's story was true, there would still be evidence even today, nine months later. What about this picture, clearly depicting sword out with a massive bump that resembles a baby? Mallon says anyone could push out their stomach to fake a pregnancy. But why would sword out pretend to be expecting? According to the motion, when sword out told her family, for the first time in her life, she received the love and focused attention of her family, but family members don't buy it. The claim that she didn't receive the love and attention of our family and that was the first taste of it that she got is completely um, fabricated. Sworn out sister, Jewel Sword, says it's offensive to even question whether or not her nephew, Lucius Sworn out, existed. I guess being as close as we were during that period of time. Um, you grow to love that person before they're even born. And Sword says while she loves her sister, it all boils down to the truth. I'm certain you can just push your stomach out, but you can't fake a kick. You can't fake, you know, watching something move underneath. You know, you can't. That's, so that's the kind of stuff that you can't fake. Sordot's defense expects a hearing for the motion to happen sometime in November. Meanwhile, the trial is set for January 10th. Live in the studio, Jeff Skrypek, KEZI 9 News.